up, everybody? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fandom Fights. It's going to be a good one today. We have Antonio Chavez making his return. Last we saw him, uh, he went out first round a little early uh, based on his ranking uh, in the tournament last year. Uh, but he's back with a vengeance, uh, I believe, and he will need a vengeance against uh, the the bulldozer uh, he is going up against today uh, in the one and only Mike Hanley. Uh, Coho is on the desk with me. Coho, thoughts on the, the upcoming match? Multiplex award, or I guess Plexi award nominee for most improved fan and player, Mike Hanley. I believe is how he's instructed us to introduce him every time. Uh, I'm very excited about this one. Mike has genuinely gotten better. Like, if you remember when Mike first played, he put up zero in round one for the first time in the history of fandom. Second time he plays, takes out the Warzone champion. It was in fandom, but he did it. Uh, Antonio has been pro proving himself really good. He'd lost his debut, but then literally every match since then has, like, come back and, like, just steadily shown he's, like, really good in, like, every single match. So I'm very excited to see these two play. I am as well. Enough from us. Let's hear what the players have to say in the promos. Hi, Mike. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing good. We're back. Yes. Virtually. And apparently, you play fandom now. Yeah. I like but, it. You know what? Enough about fandom. Don't we need to talk about? Coupons are back. The video store is back. Coupons are back. Tell them what they are, Nazaru. You have two for one on every movie that is not a new release, not yeah, a weekend, only Mondays to Wednesdays, and on VHS exclusive. Yes. That's how you and fucking start. Yeah. If you if you get a new release, though, at the regular full price, you get an opportunity to buy the new shit. Yes. See? We actually have a shirt now that says buy our shit. And has and a bag of shit on it. <laughs> I love it. You need to fucking buy that. Okay. I think that's about 30 seconds. This is a commercial, right? Yeah, but you know, hey, I am facing Chavez y Chavez, though. The fucking outlaw. From the Young Guns? Yeah, Billy the Kid, you know, Pat Garrett and shit, man. I get to fucking face a legend. I'm getting my ass kicked regardless, but hey, he didn't get his autograph afterwards. Be careful, because he also sings La Bamba. True. Mm. Oh, hey, bud. How's it going? Hey, mm, just showing up the plexi there. Yeah, uh, there we go. So here it is. You're yeah with us now. You know you yeah. joined up. Uh, T-shirt is in the mail. So uh, you know that's coming. Looking forward to that. How, how, you, how you feel, bud? Feeling good. Although mm. after that promo by them, I'm really not sure how to. I mean, that was more of a. It's more of a commercial, though. I do yeah. find a, I do find it personally insulting that out of the three of us, I'm the only one that has been censored. By the multiplayer sensor, so go fucking figure. Um, it's not my fault who Morrissey is. Anyway, uh, you know what you're doing. Yeah. You've proven yourself. This should be fun for you. And in the immortal words of Rosa Parks, kill that fucking nerd. <laughs> we'll do. You got it. Uh, we, we are back from those promos. Um, a couple things, Coho. I, I, I wasn't fully listening to the coupon deals, but I think at one point I heard them say that if you buy something, you'll get the opportunity to buy something else. Yeah. Doesn't that how works. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then Antonio seems ready uh, to actually play a fandom match. Very, very excited to see Antonio's first outing with Fun DMC here. Uh, I, I do want to clarify that, that, that Bill does, in fact, hold a fandom fights record of most matches of someone being censored in. Uh, so no one can take that away from you. Um, also, I forgot to mention Bill's plexi. He's a plexi winner, so there you go. This is true. <laughs> For most approved well, in the other, in the other one, in the war zone. Mike <laughs> pertains to tonight. Damn right. All right, let's get into the match uh, today. Here's how the match is going to work. We're going to start with round number one. Round number one will work like this. You'll get ten questions in the realm of fandom fights. Each question will be worth one point apiece. You'll have fifteen seconds to write your answer down. Uh, at the end of 15 seconds, we will say pens down. You will then reveal your answer and say it aloud. Uh, if anyone should get all 10 questions correct in round number one, you would receive a bonus question. Each player will receive three repeats, one challenge for the entirety of the match. Uh, gentlemen, are there any questions as we get into round number one? That was too much. Can you repeat it? I cannot. I'm very excited. <laughs> what is the, what's the first question, Mr. Co? Your first question comes in the category of Mission Impossible. Anthony Hopkins appears in which Mission Impossible film? 
one might say uh, hosting a match with Mike and Bill involved is Mission Impossible. I'm shocked Nazario and Mike haven't gone for Bill's record of being censored. The most- I feel like now that we have pointed it out, they're going to do it. Like, they'll do, they'll do some crazy shit. Yeah, for sure. But... We're going to have to be like a the black bar around three, the mouth of the beep. Two, one. Pens down, we'll go to Antonio. Uh, Mission Impossible 2. And Mike. Mission Impossible 2. Mission Impossible 2 is correct. Uh, point of piece as we get to the second question, which comes to the category of DreamWorks Animation. At the beginning of Kung Fu Panda, what does Poe attach to his chair to get inside the Jade Palace grounds for the Dragon Warrior presentation? Movie still holds up. It's a good one. Oh, it's fantastic. Whoops. You know what sucks? Uh, I forgot to fill up my mug. So I'm just pretend. Sporting the mug that we made? Yeah, there, there's nothing in here, though, because I forgot to fill it up. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's also it's also it's also supporting someone who who doesn't play anymore. Sad. Three. Actually, it was really sad to put him in the memory. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Ends down. We'll go to Mike. A donkey's vagina. Good lord. Mm. Uh, well, there's that sensor mm. record, uh, Antonio. I still haven't seen this. Uh, we'll be cushion. Uh, both, unfortunately, incorrect. Uh, we were looking for fireworks. Fuck, I was close. Mike's answer, pretty close to fireworks. There's going to be some censorship on that one. Uh, your third question is in Planet of the Apes. Which apes film is the only one to feature an ape keeping a little girl as a pet? Tim is backstage going, stop. What are you doing? <laughs> Mike gave his answer and his face was priceless, I will say. It was very good. There was a, there was a very nervous... Very nervous post reaction. I'm just like, did he just say what he said? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Antonio. Uh, Planet of the Apes 2001. And Mike. I have War for the Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes 2001 is the correct answer. Mike. Or, I'm sorry, not Mike. Antonio. You'll get a point because you had the right answer. Mike didn't. All right. Your next question will come in the category of Middle-Earth. Nori is what race of creature in the Middle-Earth series? If you see me looking up at any point, it's it's not because Adam McKay told me to, or not to. It's because I'm looking at the clock, because I have a show time to get to at uh, 40. So, Great. I'm just keeping track of my bearings. I only live five minutes away, so it's like not like, us. Okay, I was going to ask. And then previews, yeah, no, it's like I just get my car, I go down the block. Like, I'm four, like, three, two, no, one. Pens down. We will start with Mike. Dwarf. And Antonio. I also said dwarf. Dwarf is correct. Antonio maintains a one-point lead. All right, your next question comes in the category of Star Wars. Halfway through the round. What military rank does Obi-Wan hold in Revenge of the Sith? How many um, minutes of like previews are there usually? Ah, oh, see, there's like three previews on this leader, so it's like 15, maybe. Top see, the one I go to is like 20, sometimes 20. Yeah, my previews. AMC used to be like 20 to 30 minutes of previews. Yeah. Which, like, I like previews, but it lets me like get there later sometime. But, or three, two, one. Pens down, go to Antonio. Uh, general. And Mike. General. General is. General Kenobi. Uh, hello there. Uh, all right. Your next question. Come in the category of the worlds of DC. Who plays Barbara Minerva, a.k.a. Cheetah, in Wonder Woman 1984? It took a lot to to hold back that. that General Kenobi. Uh, General Kenobi. Oh, that's, that's my favorite. I, I'll be honest. That's probably my favorite Star Wars movie. If I'm being completely just like, that's my favorite one. Tim's giving the disapproving. Look. It's not the best one, but like that's the one I've I've watched the. I, that was, he's I was five. That's the one I've seen the most. Five, four. He's giving the three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Mike. Pee Wee Herman <laughs> and Antonio. Uh, Kristen Wiig. Kristen Wiig is correct. Antonio widens the lead five to three. What's the next question, Kelpo? Your next question comes in the category of YA. In the Hunger Games, Catching Fire, 
Who kills a tribute underwater shortly after the games begin? I don't know which order you're releasing matches, but I will just say I, I very, I'm much more attentive with every single question you give me now, just to make sure I don't flip words around. I wonder if is there... Oh, I think that'll that will have happened by now. Okay. Okay. Good. Tim, Tim lost it when he when he saw that. <laughs> it was a. Uh, that was a bad moment. That's the worst moment of dyslexia coming out I've ever had. Hands <laughs> down, we'll go to Antonio. I guess Peter and Mike. Like the bread, Peter. Like the bread, yeah. Peter is correct. All right, uh, we'll get to your next question, which is in the category of Marvel. Which film in the X Men universe features Professor X using his powers to speak to the president during a live broadcast near the end of the film? Um, yeah, Does it ever make I, you sad that like we're never gonna see like any more X Men movies that are like aren't in the MCU? I think we might. I think I think they might. And also, no, it doesn't because like half those movies are really bad. If we're all this is true, a lot of them are real bad. Five, but the nostalgia. Three, I think we might see a couple of them come. Me too. This may uh, one pens down. Uh, we'll go to Mike. I think I fucked this up. X Men Three United. Um and Antonio. Yeah, we thought it through. X Two X Men United. X Two X Men United is correct. Uh, Mike off by a number. Uh, Antonio right. gets the point there, leads seven to four. As we get to the penultimate question that will be read by Coho, and he'll say nothing else. Your penultimate question comes in the category of Wizarding World. What does Fox initially bring to Harry in the Chamber of Secrets when he first arrives in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? I, I, that place could have had a better name. Like what? You want like the... know, something something a little more inviting? Like no one ever goes there because they're all like, "Oh, chamber of secrets." You want the there. the diner of hospitality? What do you think this is gonna be called? Yeah, the the hey, come on in bar. Even though they don't have a bar, so people would be disappointed. Five, four, three. The basement of nothing terrible <laughs> happens here. Ends down. Oh, go to Antonio. Uh, the Sorting Hat. And Mike. The Sorting Hat. The Sorting Hat is correct. Uh, Antonio leads eight to Mike's five as we get to the final question of the round as there are no perfect rounds. It will come in the category of scores and soundtracks. Who composed the scores for Finding Dory and Road to Perdition? Perdition's a fun word. I don't know what it means. but I, Like, I, in I, actual grammar, I don't know what it means. But I was going to say, I think it's, it's like a city in the movie, but it probably has some sort of double meaning. Well, right. Like, I think the like the word perdition has, like, a definition. I just don't know what it, what it means. I think it means um, hungry. <clears throat> probably means pretty. Five. Four. Eh. Pretty hungry. Three. Pretty Two, hungry. One. Pens down. We'll go to Mike. James Newton Howard. And Antonio. I also said James Newton Howard. Uh, both, unfortunately, incorrect. Uh, we were looking for Thomas Newman. Oh, yeah. Thomas Newman. Uh, but with that, round number one comes to a close. Antonio in the lead, eight to Mike's five. But anything can happen as we get into round number two. Here's how round number two is going to work. It is the wheel round. Uh, we have a wheel with eight fandom categories on it, as well as spinners and opponent's choice. Each player will get a spin at the wheel. If they like what they spin the first time, they can keep it. If not, they can choose to spin again. Uh, but they will be forced to keep what they spin the second time. You'll get five questions in the chosen category. Uh, each worth two points apiece, unless you'd like to check down to multiple choice, in which case they will only be worth one. Uh, and everyone look out as stealing is available in round number two. Your categories on the wheel today are as follows. Uh, Mission Impossible, scores and soundtracks, MCU, Middle Earth, horror icons, Disney animation, Wizarding World, and DC. <clears throat> DC. Uh, with that being said, Antonio, you are in the lead. Here is Bill. Would you like to spin first or defer? What do you think, Bob? Uh, hmm. I don't know, always going second in the past has bit me in the ass, but uh <sighs> You know what you're doing, man. If you want to go first. All right. I, I mean that's it. a bold move, Cotton, but let's do it if you want. So <laughs> you know what you're doing, dude. If you feel confident, go for it. 
Is there anything on the wheel you hate, really? Yeah, a couple things, but I mean, yeah, let me just go, uh, let me just knock it out. All right. Let's go first. All right, sounds good. Antonio, this will be your first spin. It's opponent's choice. I'm going to sue somebody. Right. Well, someone's getting hey, sued. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen. Speak of the devil. Uh, goodbye, Bill. Good luck filing uh, that lawsuit as we bring in Sario. Uh, what would you like to give Antonio? Uh, would you like the categories again? Okay, Mike. Yeah. This, is, this is what I'm thinking. Okay. I'm thinking Bill gets censored because he says <laughs> a lot. Oh, my yeah. God, Nazario. Okay. Other than that, horror icons. Tim's angry. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Horror icons. Fuck it. Bullshit. Okay, great. Um, let's get you off screen real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Coho, would yeah. you yourself uh, in this very moment like to read Antonio's uh, round number two questions in horror icons? Yes, I would love nothing more. Uh, your first question in Horror Icons. Which Halloween film features the death of Jamie Lloyd? Multiple choice. Uh, is it A, The Revenge of Michael Myers, B, The Curse of Michael Myers, C, Halloween H2O, or D, Resurrection? Resurrection. That is incorrect. Curse of Michael Myers. That is correct, but let me finish uh, right reading the options. Mike, fuck, fuck you. that shit. Um, Captain. All right. Uh, Antonio, time. your next question. Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare opens with John Doe dreaming he is on what kind of transportation? Multiple choice. Your options are A, plane, B, boat, C, bus, or D, train. It's my gut. Bus. As incorrect. Mike, the chance for the steal. Your options are A, plane, B, boat, C, bus, or D, train. Five. Four. Fuck. Three. Plane. That is correct for one point steal. Your third question, Antonio. The killer named Roy in Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning, goes on a killing spree because what happened? I want to make sure this is the right movie. Multiple choice. Uh, your options are A, he was fired from his job. B, his son was killed. C, he was locked in jail for something he didn't do. Or D, his wife was kidnapped. His son was killed. That is correct for one point. Your penultimate question in horror <coughs> icons. Who directed A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors? It's a multiple choice. Is it A, Jack Shoulder, B, Wes Craven, C, Chuck Russell, or D, Rachel Talele? Chuck Russell? That is correct for one point. And your final question, horror icons. Before following the true crime podcasters to a gas station and killing them, where specifically in Haddonfield does Michael see them? In Halloween 2018. Sorry, repeat the question one more time, please? Yeah, sure. Give him a free one. Uh, before following the true crime podcasters to a gas station and killing them, where specifically in Haddonfield does Michael see them in 2018's Halloween? Since you say specifically, I'm going to go multiple choice just to be safe. Uh, a, police station. B, his old home. C, Lori's old home. Or D, his sister's grave. Repeat the options one more time. Sure thing. Your options again are A, police station, B, his old home, C, Lori's old home, or D, his sister's grave. His sister's grave. That is correct. So I have Antonio with 11 and Mike with 7 out of Antonio Spin. That is correct. Mike or uh, Antonio maneuvering his way through the category. Mike getting a few steals. 
uh, as we bring back up the wheel. Time for five seconds, Nick. Uh. All right, we'll get to Mike. Whoa, you're Tim now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Tim, why don't you sit here and talk to me as we get into a uh, Mike spin at the wheel, and we'll bring back in Mr. Potty Mouth. Um, Jeez. My God. Taylor just got sex here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, this will be your first spin at the wheel. This will be your first spin. Second, same question. <laughs> first spin at the wheel, Mike. That's on Middle Earth. Would you like to keep it or spin again? Do you know about the hairy feet dwarves? You know, I used to be one. In my head. I mean, uh, what else can happen? Just get away from this and see what happens. Yeah, fuck happens. it. Let's spin it again. Let's get Disney animation so I get fucked. All right. Go. Like You're going to be careful. Tag in if that happens. Lands on Mission Impossible. Oh, that's an impossible Some. fucking choice. <laughs> All right, Mike, are you prepared for your questions in the category of Mission Impossible? I'm not. Let's oh. sit in again. Well, that's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read you your question. <laughs> Which Mission Impossible film features a chase through a sandstorm? Fuck it. Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. That's correct for two points. All right. Your second question. Who kills Hunley in Mission Impossible Fallout? More. Okay. Your multiple choice options is it A, Walker, B, Solomon Lane, C, Erica Sloan, or D, Ilsa Faust? Yeah, repeat the options one more time. I wasn't listening. Your options again. Is it A, Walker, B, Solomon Lane, C, Erica Sloan, or D, Ilsa Faust? Oh, fuck it. And I'm going to Walker from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. Uh, that's, I mean, it's not the Walker from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, but Walker is correct. Fucking A. <laughs> well, what's the score, Nick? Your score is 11, Antonio, Mike, 10. Okay. I hit double digits. Let's quit right now. Fuck yeah, you, you do like to do that. All right. Your next question, Mike. In Mission Impossible 3, Davian receives a briefcase in the Vatican before being kidnapped by Ethan. What is inside the briefcase? Multiple choice. Okay, your multiple choice options. Is it A, the location of the rabbit's foot? B, Ethan's profile? C, bank account codes? Or D, IMF agent identities? <sighs> Uh, D, fuck it. Uh, D is incorrect. Antonio, chance for the one point steal. Is it A, the location of the rabbit's foot? B, Ethan's profile? C, bank account codes? Or D, IMF agent identities? A. A is correct for the one point steal. All right. We'll go back to Mike for your penultimate question in Mission Impossible. Who plays Jim Phelps in Mission Impossible? Fuck me. More choice. God damn it. Hey, multiple choice options. Is it A, John Voigt, B, Emilio Estevez, C, Dustin Hoffman, or D, Dennis Hopper? Repeat the question. I forgot who it was. All right. That is Mike's first repeat. The full question again. Who plays Jim Phelps in Mission Impossible? And your options are A, John Voigt, B, Emilio Estevez, C, Dustin Hoffman, or D, Dennis Hopper? Don't fuck this up. John Boy. That is correct for one point. Yeah, I hit over double digits. Let's go. Well, no, you, you're still in double so digits. So you still have double digits. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I hit an extra question. <laughs> All right, Mike, your final question. In Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, Chief Atlee is the head of what organization? Fuck is Chief Atlee. <laughs> Okay, multiple choice options. Is it A, CIA, B, FBI, C, the syndicate, or D, MI6? Uh, 
Pick the options again. I wasn't listening. Okay. Your last repeat of the options is A, CIA, B, FBI, C, the syndicate, or D, MI6? Let's repeat the question. I, I fucking forgot what you said. Okay. That's <laughs> nice. Second repeat. The question again. In Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, Chief Atlee is the head of what organization? And your options are A, CIA, B, FBI, C, the syndicate, or D, MI6. MI6. That is correct for one point. Fuck yeah. See, that's what the repeats are for. I still wasn't listening, but still. Fuck. With that, Mike uh, ties Antonio. We are at 12 apiece, uh, moving into round yeah. number three. Here's how round number three is going to work. It is the betting oh, hang round. Hang on one second. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. Before we start anything, I got to take a piss. You know, good time. Oh, okay. Wait, actually? <laughs> All right, we're going to move into round number three. Round number three is the betting round. This is how it's going to work. We're, you're going to get five more questions in the realm of fandom fights. Once I tell you the category, you can bet anywhere between zero and two points. If you get the question correct, you'll gain those points. If you get the question incorrect, you will lose those points. Uh, we will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or we reach the end of the match. Uh, are there any questions from the player? Can you repeat that again? Your first category for which you can bet points on will be Marvel. We will get bets starting with Antonio. Dose. And Mike. Zero. All right. Your question in Marvel. Name two non-MCU Marvel characters played by Nick Cage. Um, I'm here now. Yeah, welcome. I'm at work. Yeah, I'm telling on you. I hope no one, no one at work, no one, my boss you. doesn't, he, well, he needs me. I don't think that's a problem tonight. It's, I've been here since 9.45 this morning and it is, it has been dead as a doornail. <laughs> dead as a doornail, smalls, pens down. Um, we will start with Antonio. Uh, Ghost Rider and Spider-Man Noir. All right. We should start with Mike, who bet zero. I had a Ghost Rider on Big Daddy. Uh, both answers are correct, uh, but Antonio, uh, bet he will gain two points. Mike will stay right where he is. Antonio leads 14 to 12. Uh, and those were all the three possible options as well. Uh, as we get to the next question, which will come in the category of Star Wars. We will get bets starting with Mike. Zero. And Antonio. Two. All right. Uh, your question in Star Wars. Which Star Wars film features the destruction of Star Killer Base? I this is, this is so weird. This match has been a little. Uh, can't wait to edit this one, Nick. I'm excited for to see what you do. I think I might. I, I think I'll get rid of the beep noise that I usually use and insert like a goat sound or something. <laughs> 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 Just as I being like, because Bill always says, and that's just like a goat voice. <laughs> Pens down. We will start with Mike, who bet zero. Force Awakens. And Antonio. Star Wars The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens is correct. Uh, Antonio will gain another two points. Mike will stay right where he is as we get to the next question, which comes in the category of the Wizarding World. All right, we will get bets starting with Antonio. Uh, one. And Mike. No matter what, I stay in double digits. I'm going to. Your question in the Wizarding World. How do Harry, Ron, and Hermione escape the vaults of Gringotts after retrieving the Horcrux in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2? I'm still here. Yeah, you're representing the category that we already did. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm answering a text message. Okay. I also don't think I remember that scene. Any of the films? Five. No, it's it's a it's a scene Group. specific to me. Group. Repeat One. the question. All right, that is Mike's final repeat. <clears throat> the question again: How do Harry, Ron, and Hermione escape the vaults of Gringotts after retrieving the Horcrux in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two? I paused there for a moment, Tim, because I thought Horcrux was a bad word for a second. 
it honestly kind of sounds like a bad word if we're being honest. It does. No, I'm being I'm being told there's some hoodlums in the hallway. Four. Go tackle them. Three. Four. Trying to sneak into Johnny Knoxville's jackass forever. Hands down. Uh, we will start with Mike. They play like badasses on a dragon. <laughs> Antonio. Yes, on the back of a dragon. We can accept both of those answers. Uh, so Antonio will gain one point. Mike will gain two. Cuts into the lead a little bit. Antonio leads 17 to 14 uh, as we get to the penultimate category uh, of round three, which will come in the category of the MCU. All right, we will get bets starting with Mike. Two. Five. And Antonio. Two. All right. Any question in the MCU? What street in New York is Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum located on in the MCU? Fuck it. Right <laughs> At least I'm filling them. This has been a wild evening. I, as I assumed it would. You, you take into effect, you got Mike and Nazario here, you got Bill here, and then Koa was here, and now I'm here, and I'm probably going to leave shortly. This, this has just been a whirlwind of a fandom fights episode we've been killing it it's been great it's Uh, honestly you know what it keeps the show fun keeps it interesting two you think you are gonna get one thing you get something else hands down we will start with antonio as a new yorker i should never get this question wrong uh bleaker street and mike didn't happen and your winner antonio (laughs) chavez uh the correct answer was indeed bleaker street uh, so Antonio takes the win there. Tim, thoughts on the match? But it, Mike, literally, like, if he yep. had yep. bet on those first two questions, yeah. he would have been up one point uh, going into this question, wouldn't have had to bet, and we would be going to a final question. Uh, it, literally, that's what would have happened, because he hit the first two. Um Mike played really well. Antonio getting the win though on opponent's choice. Like it's not easy. He made his way through a category he clearly wasn't a big fan of. Um, but it worked out for him and he and he played really well. He had a really strong round one. So um yeah, good good match overall. Happy to semi be a part of it. Can't wait to bleep stuff out. Have fun with the post match. I gotta go. Will do. All right, let's bring in our runner up for today. And oh boy. Uh, I'm scared how this may go. Um, gentlemen, forgive forgive me for, for making uh, any assumptions in what I'm about to say, but you seem to not take this very seriously. Um, yeah. Coupons the are out there. Yeah. You are part of the video store now. Yeah, I know. You need to hype up the coupons. The, the coupons, merch, yes. The merch I, is on sale. Where's the link? Shit? Put Literally. the link. Yeah, fucking link. Where is it? Shit. Yeah, I don't have the I don't, write it down on a board and you can hold it up by the by the end of the Do it, yeah. the fuck up. Get um, right. So so again, forgive me for assuming that you don't take this quite seriously, but like you almost won against Antonio, who's like really good at this. If he had uh, paid attention <laughs> if he had paid attention to what I was saying. No, I did. did. I just wasn't happen. listening because I have to stay on double digits. But what Tim said it would happen. Would have happened. Fuck it. I was on double digits anyways. Yeah, fair. Mike, I, mean, I guess that's what's important. It is. And Mike, when are you going to admit that you're kind of good at this? I'm not good at this. I, d- I disagree. You got a very respectable score. You took uh, a very good player, like very deep in round three. Um, five in round one. That's nothing to sneeze at. Um, you, d- you didn't get horror icons or wizarding world in round two, and you still did very well. Yeah, what did I get around to? I forgot. It's okay. We'll, we'll watch it on the playback, but I think you might be a little good at this. What do you think? Nah. Okay. I think the coupons are out there, people. I think the most important that everybody think has to take out of this match is that match, uh, uh, Mike and I will never play each other in friend. No, fuck that noise. I quit before that. Okay. Well... We'll see you next time when you probably play each other. It's going to be fun. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> As we bring in uh, the winner of today's match, uh, the real story here in what I expect to be a much calmer interview, uh, Antonio 
Great job, man. Two off from a perfect round uh, in round one. And then, like Tim said, you still won the match, even on opponent's choice, getting something you clearly didn't like very much. Um, still working your way through that round three. I don't think you missed a question. Uh, and you bet where you need to, and you put the match away. Uh, first time with Fun DMC and Bill here. Uh, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm glad to actually come away with the win and have it be for from DMC. I'm glad to be part of this faction. Like, you had no idea. So, uh, but no, I was just one of these days. I hope to actually get my strength and not have freaking opponent's choice. So, but I was that I was just glad that they didn't bite me in the ass, you know, even though it was horror icons. And luckily, I'd watched some stuff, as you could tell, you know, especially mm-hmm. like Friday 13th. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't, uh, it was kind of scary there for a bit, but I'm just glad I came out with the win. Very fair. Bill, thoughts on uh, your first uh, outing with Antonio here? All right, first off, Mike, how do I remember you got Mission Impossible? I wasn't even in this match. Why do I know what you had? Why do I know the score? <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? Anyway, uh, no, I mean, hey, there was a hard round two. We, we, we even said before the match we're going over, it. round two is going to be the make or break. Yeah. And you got saddled with it, but you powered through. As a horror fan, it hurts my feelings a little bit, but it's fine. We're going to work on that. It's fine. Yeah. Totally okay. I'm going to send you over a whole bunch of movies. This is going to be great. I'll let you have a shutter log in. Super fun. Watch VFW. It's 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 a hoot. I am not sponsored by Shutter, just so we're clear. I just <laughs> I just I just find they have a quality product. So uh no, man. I mean, this is going to be great. It's going to be a great year. So Yes. I agree. Antonio, with, with your record now uh, back in the positives, you're now three and two. Is there anyone you're looking to play next? Just bring them on, anyone. Honestly, I, I need to get back into a rhythm with fandom because, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to these, you know, new categories and such. So, yeah, man, just whoever's, whoever's up for it, I'm down. Sounds great, my friend. Looking forward to it. Thank you and thank you, Bill. Um, Harry Potter you. sucks. Fine. Disagree, but then congratulations on the win uh, today. And thank you all. Thank you to Coho. Thank you to Tim. Uh, thank you to Mike Nazario, uh, Bill, and Antonio for a great match today with um, Quirks, we'll call it. Uh, um, thank you, everyone. Make sure you check out all the other matches uh, on the channel. There's a ton of them. And we'll see you next time on another exciting episode of Phantom Fights. We are so glad you came. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye-bye. Remember, please discard all candy wrappers and popcorn containers in the nearest trash receptacle. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Are they all gone? Uh, is, is, there, is everybody gone? <laughs> huh? Good. <laughs>